Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Welcome back to the Derelict Station. Hope you're doing well. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Thank you very much for joining me today. Last episode, obviously, we got up to this point in the Derelict Station. I've just finished running it again since it did regenerate after I finished recording last time. I had to run it all again, but no, no big deal. All fine. It's all loot, isn't it? <laughs> all loot. Um, nothing particularly exciting has come up, I'll be honest. Mostly just the same sort of stuff. But my boxes are getting slightly full. Basically, your posters of all things. <laughs> um, and motorbikes. Or the bikes, it would seem, as well. Uh, interestingly, I have picked up two members of crew. A Xerox crew and an alien crew. So we'll be introducing them to our ship later on. It'll be our first crewman that we've managed to uh, rescue, liberate, during this playthrough so far. Uh, but yeah, we're doing okay. We ha are running a little low on laser rifle ammo. Um, so we would like some more of that. And I don't have any... So I'm going to try and be a little bit more, perhaps, conservative with that. Easier said than done, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, otherwise we're okay. And we're ready to go into the medical part of the POI now. But just to remind you, we just need a second part, uh, or authorization code, in order to unlock the door that's down there to command. So we've just done that in the quarters back there. Let's now go into medical. Yeah, I've got three reloads left on this laser rifle. Uh, but that is like the most efficient killer, this gun. It is ridiculously good at what it does. Can I use this? No, not allowed. That would be far too easy, wouldn't it? Um, it is ruthless. It is awesome. Okay. Some bits of also, we've got some scorpions in a cage over there. Which is lovely. It's the best place for them. Um, radiation immunity shots. Very nice. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, you son of a bitch. Crap. Backpedal, backpedal, backpedal. <laughs> Gnarly. And then they don't let us use any of the medical devices. A lot of scorpions. Okay, that quickly went through my ammo. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Um, I wasn't expecting that, that was quite funny. Emergency containment fail, and everything just comes out. That was cool. Uh, right, that's this one's a lot shorter than the uh, the other one then, because it's right here. However, we are going to have to do a couple of runs back to the ship to get this loot here. So, override medical exit. Okay, not sure where the Wi-Fi kicks in. Uh, probably just around this corner. There it is. There's the Wi-Fi, so we can offload back into the ship from here. Good. Okay, there we go. I've looted everything back into the ship. Um, yeah, we've got one reload on this rifle, and then we're down to whatever we fancy next, I suppose. Uh, I have changed my loadout a little bit since last time. So I've removed the EVA and the radiation boost being inside this uh, pressurized station here is unnecessary for them. There are armor lockers here in the station as well that you can use. Uh, so I've gone with two mobility boosts to get me moving a little bit better, and the armor, uh, advanced armor and advanced multi as well, which we had last time. My weapons loadout has changed a little bit. I have added the flamethrower in there, the grenade launcher, the light ion blaster, which is not particularly useful at the moment because we're not coming across any sentry guns. So very good against blocks, this thing, not as much against organic matter. Assault shotgun, which is great in most condition uh, situations. The laser rifle, which is just like a freaking scalpel of a weapon. The uh, PR-65A, which is the oh shit button. And the minigun, of course, for those times where we just need to unleash hell for a good sort of 30 seconds flat. Uh, so yeah, we, we got a variety of weapons for a variety of situations, which this station is no doubt going to throw at me. Okay, come on then, here we go. I don't know if I need to do anything. Talk to console. Door is open. Yes, it is. You can hear the footsteps. Look at that. He's in the ceiling, cheeky little bugger. <laughs> oh my god, right. Here we go then. 
this this barricade here is whoa what the hell is that thing on sit down wow did you see that thing how are you supposed to hit that whoa shooty shooty enemies not cool man god there's footsteps everywhere I can't tell where they are Ugh. oh my god they're on top of me around me I don't know all right these guys do a lot more damage than any of the mobs I've come across so far um, looks like they carry laser rifle charges though so you go I just got three back we're probably going to have to chuck a heal on ourselves right now. Oops. Whoa. There's another one down there. I don't know where he is, though. All right, hold up here. Um, yeah, you're going to shoot through these bandages at this rate, huh? I got some this stuff on me and I got some credit cards. The other guy. There he is. Come on. Poke that little stupid head of yours out. He's hiding behind that box down there. Alright, grenade launcher unfortunately won't reach that far, otherwise that would be like the perfect thing to use right now. Uh, right, okay, output you, you, and you in there, and you two in there. You, you, there, and everything else in output. Good, nice and easy, good loot. Alright, let's move up. My god, they are so zigzaggy. Reload, 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 reload. Oh, run straight, you piece of shit. My god. It's just like yeah. <laughs> so squiggly. Oh my god, you can't hit them with nothing. Oh dear. Right, okay, a bit of loot here. These are just like little bits and bobs. I thought I'd check these ones because they're kind of like in the middle of a room. Uh, um Oh boy. Guy with a gun there. Alright, scoops. I'll get to you. Oh my god, what the. Blimey. Freaking overseer. Okay, the AI is really letting the place down there, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, if the AI wasn't so stupid, this this would be a freaking death corridor right there. I would have died. But thankfully, they all got stuck up on themselves. Um, thankfully for me, at least, I suppose. Not so great for the station there, huh? All right, we've got some boxes and loot here. And this, we've got an elevator up. I love the way they say it. this thing is escalating though. There's a new grenade launcher. I might actually swap my current one out for that one because my current one is looking ropey AF. Uh, there it is. I'm gonna go and trash that one. We'll probably sell them, but whatever. Oh, there's a tool turret. Brilliant. For HV, mind, but yeah, still good. Still good. Alright, let's go up. Okay, pointing that way. Oh, cool. Repair station. Haha. <laughs> huh. Nice, thanks. The advanced assault rifle. Um, repair my laser rifle at least. There we go. 
Um, well, I'll eat that sandwich. Armor locker. The whole set of armor, medium armor in there. And do you know why I don't actually have a medium armor? I'll take that. Thank you. My, my heavy armor is actually looking okay. I don't want to use a repair up on just that. This box is now full. Um, probably connect to my factory and just chuck a bunch of stuff into it to free up some spaces here. Give me a second. All right, here we go. We are ready. I've cleared all that up. I think... Can't go through there. Because that won't let us go through that. We... I assume we could just jump over that, but that... Doesn't, doesn't look right to me. And we got to go through there anyway. Because I, I think I remember this when I did with the Chaos Crew. We could crouch through here. But I think this gets, like, stupidly hot. Um, so I'm just going to quickly whip this water onto my pool bar here. If I remember correctly, this gets to like four, five hundred. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's a freaking oven. <laughs> All right, so I got to keep drinking water to lower my body temperature. All right, so just doing that a few times, I'm cold, so we're good. 17, 22 degrees, that worked perfectly. Okay, emergency, secondary. Oh, sh hello. Um, bunch of little spiders. Emergency use only. Okay. I have no idea what that does, actually, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, we got to crouch back through there and get my water ready. Stuff is super chilled, right? you know, to be able to drop your temperature so quickly. <laughs> 18, 21, 13, 17, 21. Great. Walking through fire with a few bottles of water. Miracle stuff, that, I tell you. 28, okay. I'll stabilize back now. Uh, okay, what the hell does that do then? Because do we just do we have to jetpack over here? The whole thing tells us not to use our jetpack, but this looks like we have to use our jetpack then. Unless that's changed the oh, it's taking the full spread out. Okay, that makes sense. That makes more sense. Oh god, this place is horrendous. Uh, yeah. Oop. Mate, that was ridiculous. How dare you? <laughs> dare you, bastard. You get the feeling that this place is where I'm going to need the freaking minigun, you know? There are dead dudes here. There are egg sacks as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is a good minigun. This is another place for a minigun, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god it's just the standard trigger of course if I hold both mouse buttons down he goes a bit bonkers but it fires a hell of a lot quicker okay you're spawning things as is all the eggs there and reload time is really long on the minigun Okay, hold on. You need to die. Jeez, that thing took a lot of it. The hits. Let's see. Oh yeah, these delete eggs. That's good. You get the green spurty spurts out. You don't find this in any like other POI, do you? Uh, what does the Ion Blaster do to this stuff? Okay, average amount of damage by the looks of it. Dudes are dead, man. Dudes are dead. Another Pentaxic Crystal and Advanced Bandages, which we already had, but we can sell that stuff, so it's worth collecting in the nurse. Um, I feel like I'm going to have to use my jetpack here. This thing deletes them in one hit. Oh, this thing's the best. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Warning containment contamination zone ahead. 
biological contamination detected in ventilation shafts beyond this point. Personnel are not recommended to linger. Restrict jetpack usage. So okay, we're up, we're we're safe up here, I guess, because we had to jetpack through that hole. But anything down here, and we're no longer safe. This thing deletes eggs. It's fantastic. Whoa, Xerax. This is the Xerax. Ooh, hello. Shit. This is the Xerax strike team then that we we read about, right? I am very low on ammo, and I feel like we're approaching the end of the uh, dungeon now. And I know that there's a boss at the end of this thing, so it's like, um, whoa. Wait, were those turrets? Are they active? They kind of look active, but they're also not responding to me, so maybe they're not. Is that scorpion on the ceiling? That's some bullshit! Sit down, sunshine. You know what? I'm almost relieved to find Xerax here. Just at least the <laughs> familiar foe, you know? <laughs> we know these guys. Alright, assault shotgun is pretty damn handy in here actually. I can't believe it's taken me this long to use it. Woo! Oh my god, there's so much crap here. Whoa! Shit, 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 ow, 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 What the hell are you? Holy crap. Wow. Stun locks you, man. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, let me just do a final check here. Okay, so we've only got 10 rounds on that. Reload this. I don't know what I'm going to need, to be honest. This is going to be interesting. Grenade launcher. High ion blaster. Shotgun. That doesn't ever need reloading. That's got 16 rounds left in it. Uh, let's give the minigun a reload. Okay, I want to read this thing on the thing, but the thing with the things keep freaking spawning. Ow! Motherfucker! Sit down. Shut up. You. And you. I recommend restricting jetpack usage and not leaving the next room until you are finished doing whatever you need to do in there. Following this advice will limit the number of unwanted guests dropping on your head. If you really must leave the room ahead, go all the way back all the way to the top of the ramp behind the previous room past the contamination warning sign. It's safe up there assuming there's none of those alien eggs left. Don't linger out here in the contaminated zone. Okay. I'm going to activate... Uh, this guy. Elf Nanite Injector. Okay, really. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. Ah, you felt the animals. Ah! Okay, this doesn't help. Oh, shit me. Ah, 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 I need to get out of that guy over there. What the hell? How are you supposed to survive this shit? Oh, God, no, there's not another pillar. Go away, go away, go away. Reload, 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 reload. Have I, got, have I got to kill the eggs? I think so. While killing all this stuff.
I'm thinning them out. <gasps> okay, I think I got... Can you guys leave me alone for five seconds, please? Thank you. But I know you're all very excited to fucking see me, but finally, piss off. Jesus. Come on, reload already. Right, eggs. I'm depleting the eggs. I'm depleting the eggs. There's only a few spiders left now, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Breathe, breathe. Kill the boots on dickheads. More eggs over there. I gotta heal, I gotta heal. Come on. Just like, what am I getting shot by right now? So many of them everywhere, but there's so many bodies everywhere. I don't know what is shooting me where. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to do. Flip that switch or whatever, but... What's alive? What's dead? I don't know. There's bodies everywhere. I can't tell. Sit down. Shut up. You lot hiding outside the frickin' door, you cheating assholes. Have a fucking grenade. Have another... You know what? Have another one. You know what? Have another one. Son of a... That, I think, up there is Dr. Weston. Guy we've been chasing this entire time. Whoa! Ow, 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 ow. You know what, Dr. Weston? Fuck you, buddy. I have a few grenades. I gotta cure. I gotta cure some stuff here. Um, what have I got here? I got... Ah! Fuck you! God damn it! Just eat that. I don't know if that's the right one. Just eat them all. They'll cure something eventually. Oh, you got to be kidding me. No, I can hear you. I can hear you, you sneaky bitch. No, how is this happening again? I got rid of you all. Don't start respawning on me now. Yep. There's a freaking egg left. There's multiple eggs left. Go away. They're on the ceiling as well. Holy shit, I didn't even notice them. What the hell now? Kill the eggs. Kill the eggs. I got poison. I know uh, that does poison. I know uh, bridge. Indigestion. Cured. I haven't got any meds at all. Like, oh, 13 bandages. Give me. Any health nanites left? No, obviously. Add them otherwise. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> it's all my heals. Um, time for a pizza. Right, okay, so health nanite. Ow, 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 ow. God, he's such a bitch, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Have some green balls of fuck you. And spiders. Is there still one alive over there? I'm not winning that fight. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. By proxy. Death by splash damage. Going over his head. <laughs> Is it working? I don't know. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Ow! He's such a mother... Uh. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. I didn't mean it. It was a joke, right? Joke. Jesus. Well, oh, the freaking laser rifle once again wins, doesn't it, hey? Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Oh, shit. 
Oh, God, damn it. Ah. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit, it's super overseer. Oh, no, there's something zapping me from the left as well. That's bullshit. Motherfucker. I hate this game. So does that mean it? Oh, no. Okay, so it hasn't, like, fully reset. It's these Xeraxy bastards. With their little beamy lasers. I don't know what that means. Um, I got more switches to flip it up, basically. I gotta kill these sons of bitches. But I know that if I... Right. Hold on, then. I got a complete lack of medicines. Could really do with, like, a personal invincibility field during that particular bit. Very rare um, loot. You can find them, though. They're always in epic containers and stuff. Uh, they make you invulnerable for, like, ten seconds or something. Doesn't sound like a lot, but... Well, that would have been useful back then, wouldn't it? All right. Um, ten rounds of the minigun. Honestly, I'm not sure the minigun's the way forward there. I think uh, we're going to have to use the, the experimental green balls of... Piss off. Green balls of fuck you. Um, I haven't got any more health nanites, so I guess we're just going to probably die again. The thing is, the advice is very much like, don't fight him from outside the door. But, got him. <laughs> got him. It's kind of like, well, might be don't fight him outside the door, but in this particular situation, I didn't have much of a choice but to fight him outside the door. I, I, I could have walked straight in and done something, but um, yeah. Okay. Uh, the door's open, so I don't know why I'm flipping flippy flippy flips. Flipping flippy flips, because the door's here. Bingo. Um, right. Talk to the station. Download station communication logs. Bingo. I've obtained the logs. Get to a safe location. Hang on. Cargo may contain valuable goods. Make sure you connect it via logistics. Um, okay. Hang on then. Let's connect via logistics. I think the input box has got the most space on it at the moment, so let's connect to that. And get search. Oh, advanced insulation, extenders. That was. What else was that? So I got the advanced insulation, but I think it's the extender, these guys. I think there was something else in there, but I missed what it was. It all came up so fast. It would all be in here, so I'm guessing it was just other resources that I already had. Which, you know, is good. An advanced insulation boost is also good. So that's nice as well. Improved CPU extender. And very rare box. We've got a more nanites. We got two of these now, haven't we? Oh, I thought we did. Yeah, the, the schematic nanite injectors twice. The bandages we've had twice. The heavy railgun we've had twice. We've got loads of pentaxid seeds now. Not bad. Another one. And the more Arrestrum Sycosium. Fuel and credit cards. And there you go. That's the that's it. Um, I think Revian just left the door open now because he was having so much trouble with the signal logic that um, this is the debug panel for it. <laughs> yes. He's tried so much to get this to work on a multiplayer server. I think he's just, he just opened the door. <laughs> I'm like, yes, Revian, yes. That's how you, that's how we solve problems. <laughs> um, especially in this game anyway. Okay. Well, one death in the abandoned station here uh to be to be fair i mean when i did this with the chaos crew the the boss room didn't really work are you kidding me right now who is this cheeky little dick shooting at me look at these guys you're not supposed to be there purge that from there there you go uh yeah hey what was i saying right yeah the um Chaos crew. We we went through that last room, but it was all just the spawns. The boss wasn't there, so it was all a bit kind of like, oh, okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, there we go. The derelict station, guys. I thoroughly recommend this POI. It is one of Revian's finest. 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to regenerate this because, um, you know, I've just run it and there's a bit of a queue. There's a bit of a queue to run it. So I'm going to regenerate it here because I am a server admin and I can. And that means it's now ready for another player to go straight in and do it. You don't have to wait for it to regenerate in, I think. Well, I think it's still only three hours, but still three hours if they're sitting around waiting is kind of long. So uh, there we go. Derelict station complete. Right. Um, we've got some fairly full boxes here. I think we need to head back to the UC8 ship. Um, I think we need to anyway, because, well, we need to F1 in order to receive our gift, our rewards. Uh, but let me just, I'm still connected there, actually, so that's good. I'll just put this stuff in um, in various boxes. Uh, output, let me just eat that. Okay, we hit F1. It completes the, that. We get nav data and small electronic bridges. That would have gone into the input box where we're connected. There's that nav data. There's that oh so beautiful nav data. This is what we did it for. This increases our base warp drive range by one le one light year per tablet, okay? Per, per data. So we've got three extra light years there. Doesn't sound like a lot, but that's where you've got to get quite a lot of them. Build them up. Um, before you know it, you're, you're on a standard warp drive, you're jumping 70 light years at a time. On an antimatter warp drive, well... You can almost jump across the entire galaxy in two or three jumps. It's really good. That's what we want, really, is that antimatter warp drive so that we can jump from Alaris, for example, to traders uh, in like as few jumps as possible. And we can really maximize the profit from um, from carrying the, the bulk goods. Uh, so there we go. Just try to think what else. I don't think there is anything else. I think that is it. I think we're, we are good to go. I need to sort everything back out and put myself back into sort of like a less extreme combat loadout. <laughs> Let's get back to the UC8 ship and uh, do what our next move is. All right, so we're kind of out of combat now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap my um, heavy armor out back for my improved light here. I'm going to go just EVA and oxygen. Um, I think the 3.7 rads outside is okay. Yeah, there we go. We're okay. All right. Welcome back to the UC8 ship. Anyway, we've got a few bits and bobs to do here. I'm going to sell some schematics to these guys. So go ahead and bring them on board. Uh, the Nanite one, I think I need to unlock anyway, but we can sell one of them at least. And we got some credits, but I think, I don't know if there's an ATM here. It doesn't really matter. And then have data, of course. Okay. Uh, oh, to be fair... I'm not sure I can sell heavy railgun schematics. No, I can't. I can... Oh, no, I can. Yeah, there you go. Heavy railgun schematics. Sell. And the nanite injector schematic. Sell. And the bandage schematic, which I already have. Sell. There you are. Worth a fair bit of money each, to be fair. So, you know, pretty good. All right, let's get up to the, the lab. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. But let me show you, I think it's the research computer here. We got three nav data. So we go nav data, turn in, three, accept, and bingo. You may turn up to 47 additional nav data now. So a standard warp drive jump range is actually 60 light years for a standard warp drive on this server. We up the number um, because we spread the stars out a little bit to reduce the overall size of the galaxy. And it's 80 for an advanced. Uh, so we can now jump up to uh, 63 light years with adding those three nav datas. Nice. All right. And just the nanite injectors, which is a alien technology. Alien technology. Unlock nanite injectors. There we go. Um, there, and that's it, really. So uh, some of you were saying like about the heavy railgun. The reason I couldn't unlock it. <clears throat> did I just sell the schematic because I didn't unlock it? Ah, oh, fuck, I did. Oh, shit. What a tit. <laughs> I thought I'd unlocked it. I hadn't unlocked it. I couldn't unlock it. Because... Because... I need to do that first. Oh, wait. Have your gun turret. No! It won't let me do it. Wait, so how many? Yep, yep, yep. I need this command. Ah! Oh, stupid boy, Pike. Why did I do that? 
This is dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was stupid dumb. That was my. I already sold the bad one. That was the other, the one I. Oh my god. Yeah, you get it. You get it. You get it. Oh, you thought I had duplicates. I thought I turned it in, but I didn't turn it in because you need to unlock the light rail turn turret and then you can turn it in. Right. Uh, I don't think I can buy it either. Can I? No. Can I buy back, please? <laughs> Let me buy back. Let me buy back my heavy rail control. <laughs> what? There it is! It's right there! It's that one! But I can't hit the buy button! Okay. Yeah. I'm a spoon. Um. Anyway. Um, <laughs> now, that I've, now that I've sold both the heavy railgun schematics that I very, very fortunately got because they were apparently I'm very lucky. It's probably I'm never ever gonna see one of those ever again. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna pretend that never happened, and we're gonna move on, and 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 and, and that's fine. Uh, so we're pretty much done here anyway. Uh, we have got. Oh my god, Lost Worlds, um, which is the dead chapters. Okay, the. Which is something we do as we're exploring. And it's the same with the Decay Gate stuff. That will come later when we've got a much better base ship and stuff like that going. Survey the data system we've obviously done. Uh, check the real... Survey the habitable systems. This is an ongoing thing. We'll need a basic probe. And as we go to G-type stars, we can launch that probe. Uh, I can't remember how many we've got to do. But, you know, again, nav data is a reward. Worth it. Revenge. Obviously, it requires us to attack the Xerax. So... Um, everything that we now need to do is outside of this starter solar system of Delta. So I'm going to quickly run over to the trade station here, turn in some cash, trade off some excess weapons and stuff like that. And then we are leaving the sector, starting our exploration. All right, here we are. The trade station. There's a trader here with some ATMs. We sell him. Well, we sell him. We put the money in a bank. And then this guy, uh, hit buy. He will buy various things, including flamethrowers, which I've got a spare one of, and night vision goggles. No, I think we have to find someone else to do that. But anyway, there's a good source of small upgrade kits from that guy, at least anyway. And that will come up later when we start building some new uh, hob vessels and small vessels. I think this guy sells armor boosts and will buy armor boosts. Yeah, there we go, look, and night vision goggles as well, so we'll sell that one, it takes it off the bar. And we've got some jetpack boosters. Oxygen boosts, yeah, lots of those for some reason. Radiation and an EVA to sell him as well. I think I've also got some spare light armor and a heavy armor. We'll give him one of each of those. The light and heavy armors always generally go for quite a lot, but actually I think it was the first guy that bought the heavy armor, wasn't it? Anyway, the point is, um, every now and again we'll go to a place like this and we'll just sell a lot of the spare nonsense that we've managed to gather. He is one out of one of heavy armors, okay? You are useless to me. Yeah, there we go. I think that's pretty much it. We have got some undelivered cargo boxes and these uh, gin consoles here is where we do that missing cargo and no transfer tags that'll be for the pirates then and frontier colonies there we go a thousand credits 100 reputation and 25 skill points another way of getting some of those important unlock points that we're going to need a lot of in fact that's probably given us another bunch of money cards isn't it yep <laughs> we're going to need to find another atm we'll go back to that first door this guy i think Okay, yeah, he does the basic stuff, shotguns, assault rifles, that sort of thing. Not heavy armor. I think I have to wait until I can, um, the traders refresh or I find a different trader that can buy heavy armor before I can do that one. But I think we're pretty much done here. So let's get out there and uh, plot a course. Well, where to go is the big question. Where to go? Um, I mean, we have the Habitable Systems mission, so I'm going to let that kind of guide us a little bit here. Um, let's have a look at the territory views. We've got 
I mean, we're basically surrounded by everything. We're in the middle of everything here. Um, I do want to go over and visit the far home world. And they have some excellent trading opportunities um, over there. So I think that would be a good direction to go in towards Polaris. So I think maybe we go that way-ish sort of direction. Maybe Barbo. Barbo sounds good. <laughs> Let's lock on to Barbo and see what's there. The G-type system. So we're going to warp over there. Do a quick survey, and then we'll see what uh, what else is there for us to explore. Let's go. Goodbye, Delta. Thanks for all the loot. There we go. Okay, so we should probably activate habitable systems mission right so that's going to calibrate its long range nonsense and stuff like that first of all we're going to go down here and we're going to build ourselves some basic probes so um, this is under the deco tab here and this is the basic system probes they take steel plate optical fiber yada 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 uh, so they're going to go ahead and build five of those I'm going to interrupt these two so it does that straight away and then i'll put these two back on down to 100 promethium i'm not sure 386 fuel packs. It's reasonably okay. With the fusion cells that we managed to pick up from the um, EOI as well, not too bad. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to pick up some more Promethean. Another asteroid of that would be quite good. We're good for Pentaxid for a while though. 435 after hitting, uh, I think, three Pentaxid asteroids. So that was pretty good. All right, so that's finished. There we go, it's building the probes. Put 100 of those back on and 200 refined pentaxid. And let that go off and do stuff. So we just need to place one of these basic probes now onto our toolbar. There we go. And that should initiate the scan. And there we go, that counts towards our G-type star systems here. Let's have a little look, see what we've got here. Um, okay, not a huge amount of stuff. We've got a pirate Great field, lovely. That looks like a barren metal planet. Okay, but well that's actually quite good for a lot of resources that we're going to need. A restroom, a cosium, and it's outside Xerox space. This whole anti-aircraft thing probably doesn't exist down there. Might be a good place to go and check it out. It's undiscovered as well, so I don't think anybody's gone down there to check it out. There we go. Um, yep, that's completed now, so we, it's just... It will continue to ask us to go to G-type systems, another two of those, and we'll complete that. That is an exploration site, a civilian light miners site, combat site class one, sent to pick up high levels of radio signals indicating the presence of hostile ships or stations. Interesting. Uh, well, 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 we might have to go check that out as well. And that is a UCH research vessel over there, so that's pretty good as well. Um, finally, a snow planet. Yep. And a frozen inferno. Cool. All right, we've got a few things we can check out here. Um, let's head over to the barren metal and mine. I think we could probably check out the exploration site as well. They're usually quite good for getting uh, nice bits of loot out of those. And if we're feeling brave, maybe we'll check out the combat site. In any case, welcome to the, the, the galaxy. You know, we've left the star system now and uh, we're on our way. But that is going to be all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed and hopefully you'll join me for our exploration in the next episode. Uh, so until then, take care. Bye bye.